An individual rented this truck behind me and uh, OD'd on fentanyl and crashed the vehicle. You can see the damage on it. It took eight shots of Narcan. These seats will not budge. You're working in a very confined space and then you're struggling with these seat covers. Hey guys, Laura here. I am in Tampa, Florida at the site of a fentanyl overdose that went terribly wrong. So an individual rented this truck behind me and uh, OD'd on fentanyl and crashed the vehicle. You can see the damage on it. And uh, it took eight shots of Narcan to revive him, but I am told that he did live. But uh, we are here to uh, clean up the fentanyl, neutralize it to make it safe for the body shop workers to handle this project. So stay tuned. I'm seeing uh, personal content. Pawn shop receipts, um, parts of the vehicle, the rental agreement, and some miscellaneous sh Do you want to be a crime scene cleaner just like us? Well, now you can. Spalling Decon is currently opening up enrollment to our bio-basic courses on thinkific.com. Click the link in our bio and head on over to thinkific slash spaldingdecon.com and use promo code CLEAN for 10% off your order. Now back to the video. All right, I'm gonna start the process. I really don't see any powder or anything, but that doesn't mean anything because it's so tiny that you can't tell. on your side? Whoa. Is it it's got the wire mesh on the inside with the burnt end and then you put the crack on this side and smoke it that way. So that's what it looks like. Now we're cutting out the um, porous materials and then uh, we're going to restart the process all over again. I don't know why anybody would use this drug. It's nasty. Nasty, nasty. There's too much room for error. Oh, 
sweat's going in my eye. Getting ugly. It's hot. And it's not even April. these seats forward, that's going to be another challenge. Oh, nice. Look at that. Seat naked. Look, it's even wrapped in plastic. Extra safe. Oh my god, this is so tight. Nobody can fit back here. This is the the furthest that this goes forward. So this is a problem. Let's see how this feels. Oh, actually not bad. Without the cushion, it's still it's still got some give. Oh, got it. Oh, got it. Okay. Looks like manuals. And lasagna. Snack. So, hiding the stash. Sweat dripping in my eyes again. I should have worn a headband. I think I've learned by now. I didn't. You know another thing too that I used to have? You know those things that you buy? They're like chamois towels. And you put them in the freezer. And then you put them around your neck when you're working. Those things are awesome. Just the bottom. Oh. See that plastic? along with um, metal. That's a thick piece of metal. And along the seams, it's always easier. So you're probably thinking, why don't you just take the seats out? That would be great. And that's what I would do if this was like a normal car. But we can't move the vehicle to get it to them to move the seats out. So I am taking a much needed break. It's about, I think it's about 86 degrees. So it's not like terrible, but if you add all this into it, it's well over a hundred. Normally I don't have such a problem with taking off the seat covers, but these seats will not budge. Uh, the two passenger seats won't even move up an inch. So that's making it very, very challenging. So you're working in a very confined space and then you're struggling with these seat covers. So it seems so minor, but man, it's just, it's a lot. I wanna make sure that I get every nook and cranny because there's a ton in a vehicle. So we got lucky and uh, they changed their mind so I can remove the seats. The hard part is accessing the bolt because nothing will fit and it's all the way back here so i am trying to get through i can't get through 
here. I can't go at an angle here, so uh, I might need the cameraman to hold this. Alright folks, I'm going to let that sit and marinate for a few minutes while I hydrate. I can rhyme. The respirator, of course it's super important PPE, but it makes it so difficult to breathe. It feels like you're breathing out of a straw. So even though you're maybe not doing much or you're just walking, your heart rate is elevated and you feel like you've been jogging because it's you're just struggling to breathe. So that's one. And then I can't sweat. So you know you're dehydrated when you're drinking a ton and you're not urinating. So that means I'm sweating it all out. Um, but that's summers in Florida. Like it's, we work in a ton of houses that have no AC. So uh, which I think is a crime to not have AC in a climate like this. Just like I think it's a crime to have no heat in a northern state. Like, that just shouldn't be allowed. That's a, that's a, should be just a basic human right. So, uh, we're almost done here. I'm gonna let that marinate for a couple minutes and then I'm gonna wipe it down and we are good to go. That's the beauty about fogging, is it gets everywhere. All right, guys, I think that is a wrap. We're just gonna leave it closed up for 24 hours and this thing should be good to go to be rebuilt. Not an easy job, but it felt good to make this vehicle safe. So stay tuned for the next one. Thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and ring that bell to be notified of the next episode. For more information, visit any of our locations.